welcome back to my channel i'm sister with a purpose all right thank you so much for all your likes and subscriptions to the channel all right if you want to send me cash donations i will be setting up a paypal i already have one i just need to post the details to this channel and that is the only way i got rid of my cash app okay i may open up a new one in the future but not right now so we're doing a general reading let's go ahead and tap in divine spirit thank you so much for clear communication and divine protection all right let's see what is it that i need to communicate to divine feminists today this is a general reading the messages may or may not resonate with you depending on who you are in your situation okay we have the page of swords here so it's letting me know that there is someone in the background spying page of cups page of swords with this page energy i feel like they could be younger than you in air or water signs um why are they spying on divine feminine Oh, uh, yeah, they could be spying on... You could have, like, a younger sibling spying on you for your mother. Or there could be someone at work. A, <coughs> excuse me. Someone that is in authority spying on you at work. Or you could be in authority, but you have someone spying on you. With the Seven of Pentacles, and, uh, okay? With the Six of Pentacles being here, someone wants you to give to them. And help balance out this situation. Yeah, because they see you as this queen of pentacles. They see you as the ten of pentacles. They're lacking finances. And they want to come in and ask you something. Someone younger than you wants you to give to them. All right? You could be this person's mother. Yeah, someone wants to um, collaborate with you because they see you as this ten of pentacles. Like I said, you could be this person's mother. Or it could be someone's mother figure or someone in authority. All right, it could be very much so a Capricorn, or you could be a Capricorn person. Spine, you could be an air sign, water sign. Okay, if they're water sign, it's a Cancer. If they're an air sign, it's an Aquarius. Okay, this person could be spiritually spying too, or like using some form of divination to spiritually stalk you or pry into what you got going on. Damn, I know that's how we getting down. Yep, that's how we getting down. Tower moment, high priestess energy being here with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they went spying. Someone spied for someone to see what you were about. Are you the true Ten of Pentacles? And Lord behold, you are divine feminine. And this is your justice due with the Seven of Pentacles being here. This extra Four of Pentacles is letting me know that someone who is lacking finances wants to come in and act like they're the ace of wands when you're the ace of wands god has already given you and blessed you with such you already have the ten of pentacles without this person you're already a high priestess and the magician you manifested this by your essence alone okay after walking away like you don't mind turning down money but this person is someone who would do anything for money and that's the difference and this is why you have the ten of pentacles by yourself and this person is just the four of pentacles they like the perspective of, of knowing that money isn't everything could be a scorpio or a taurus um pisces here aries as well as aquarius so I have my nephew and my daughter in the background. So I do apologize, y'all. You know, full house of in this camp today. Anything else divine feminine needs to hear in this particular reading? There's way too many spirit. I just want two more cards. Thank you. Spirit said, okay, you want two more? We got two more. Yep, it's this person that wants to come in and connect with you. If it's not someone's um a feminine energy. Or someone at work, a someone of authority. It is a king of cups in reverse. This person is not in touch or in tune with their emotions. And they're reaping karma. It's like they're and their karma is they have none. <laughs> they have none, they have no harvest to reap. And this is why the seven of pentacles is in reverse. This person has not yet learned that their emotions are tied to their money. All right. And they're looking at you trying to figure out what, what, what magic sauce you got. And it's like the only magic sauce you got is doing right by others, living right by others, and, and not intentionally, emotionally abusing and inflicting some type of emotional distress on those that I say I love. With this King of Cups in reverse, this is someone who has no emotions, or if they have emotions, they don't express them. Like I said, it could be a cancer. Yeah. This cancer is native. You know, this cancer now sees that they were wrong for whatever they tried to say about you. 
because the seven of pentacles in reverse but with all of this is the 11 of pentacles right so it breaks down to the two so maybe at the time that this king of cups was in your life maybe that this person had the seven of pentacles and you only had the two so they're looking at you like how did you get from the two to the ten and now you're at the seven. Ooh, so for some of you all, I heard if this person was emotionally abusive or physically abusive, the most high, your spirit team, your ancestors, they hit their pockets because they didn't understand. They don't understand karma any other way but financial. So it's like the same seven of pentacles this king of cups had, they turned around and gave it to you as karmic retribution. Because the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles is your Seven of Pentacles. But then we have the whole Seven of Pentacles Seven of Pentacles card here with the King of Cups in reverse. So it's like Spirit took from this person and gave to you. All right? Because you handled the situation correctly. You handled this person with temperance. This person was very uh, mean, very vindictive, very bitter, would not give to you. If you all had a child with this page of cups being here, if it was your child's father, they neglected to take care of the child. You stepped up, you did right, and spirit sees that, and you, you're being rewarded for that. You're walking in major arcana energy. We have the high priestess and the magician for you. This is beautiful. You're blessed with Ace of, Ace of Wands opportunity to get out of this financial lack that this King of Cups could have deliberately put you in. Yeah, tower moment for this person because they were resilient towards this shit. Yeah, they wanted you to be burdened and it's like they wanted you to show up as the Ten of Wands and you was like, oh no, bitch. I'm not showing up as the Ten of Wands Without the Queen of Wands, I'm going to be resilient and looking good. And if you think you about to bring me down, a bitch going to look good doing it, spiritually and physically. So it's like you're showing up as this queen, no matter what they hate, no matter what they tried to do to you, you still was the Queen of Pentacles, you still was the Queen of Wands. And then we got the Queen of Cups on top of this deck with the Five of Swords right after. You defended yourself with against conflict from whoever was spying. Remember, the Page of Swords was the first card out. And now it's here again, spying. Pisces could feel stuck, all right? If it's a Pisces, they feel stuck. They're the snake in your circle. They betrayed you. If, if it is a Cancer, yeah, this person, it, it, they just feel, they feel stupid. They feel like they put their own foot in their ass. Yeah, this Ace of Cups is like this person wants to be in a relationship with you and balance out the situation now that you can manifest this Ten of Pentacles without them. All right, all is well, love and light. This is the reading. Ashe, bye.